Welcome to uh, day five of our 28 days of seeing Jesus. Now, th things are getting a little, things are a little getting complicated with Jesus here in the New Testament, right? He's starting to say some pretty radical things to us. And now when we see Jesus clearly, we see that there are some things that Jesus requires of us. Now, they're not the religious things uh, that the religious leaders want to tell us or even the things that condemnation tells us. But we find us here in verse 44, Jesus says, I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. For he causes his Son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. Now, today, in, in us looking for Jesus, and us wanting to be right with God, and, and, and seeing God all around us, and seeing the true Christ in our lives and in our community, it's important that we look for him in the things he told us to do. Jesus didn't say, if you want to be a true son, you'll pray five hours a day. He didn't say that you'll do religious works. What he said is, if you want to be a true son of your Father in heaven, you have to love. You have to forgive. The world tells us never forgive. The world tells us don't forget. The world tells us to keep your arms at length or people will take advantage of you. The world tells you to harden your heart. Jesus says, listen, you can forgive. You can release. You can love. We're reminded today that God is love, and he loved so much that he sent his son. What did he send his son to do? To teach us to forgive. To teach us to love. As we look to see Jesus clearly, we have to be looking for this God of love. God of the downtrodden. God of the marginalized. God of the oppressed. That's not always economic oppression. Sometimes that's emotional oppression, spiritually oppression. Condemnation wants you to be oppressed. Jesus said, I've come to give you life. Today, as we look to see Jesus clearly, look for areas that you might be in unforgiveness. Look for the people that we're judging. Look for the critical thoughts and release love, release forgiveness, release Jesus in your life. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.